Okay, I'm making this video to educate people about HPV, the human papilloma virus. And the reason I'm making it is because all the information that you find online, uh, a lot of it is completely incorrect, and a lot of it conflicts from one site to the next. Even very reputable websites like the CDC actually has wrong information on it. Now, for those skeptical people out there who are watching this saying, you know, this guy, you know, his face is blurred out, his voice has changed, he doesn't even want to show us who he is, well, why should we believe him? You know, he doesn't have a PhD in medicine. We're going to believe that some guy on YouTube over the CDC? Well, you should, and I'm going to give you lots of reasons why. Um, firstly, let me tell you uh, my story. Basically, five years ago, my girlfriend went in for a routine pap smear and came back and said that she has high-risk HPV. So, for the past five years, I've been extensively, extensively researching HPV. I've spoken to many experts. I've been to several doctors about it. And even still, even the doctors get conflicting information. But I am pretty confident that I, I have all the facts straight. Um, and that's why I'm making this video, to, to help educate people uh, so that people get vaccinated and that they don't pass it on uh, to anyone else. Okay, so basically what I have is, there's two types of HPV. There's high risk and low risk. Uh, they say HPV. But I think a lot of people have heard of genital warts, and that's, just, that's what HPV is. The human papillomavirus causes warts. There's two types. The type that causes warts and the type that doesn't cause warts. And you're thinking, probably about now you're thinking, well, if it doesn't cause warts, then what's the problem? Well, that type is actually a lot more uh, risky. It's called the high-risk type because it can cause cancer. The high-risk type causes cancer, low-risk type causes warts. There's actually a hundred types of HPV. Some websites and some doctors tell you actually over a hundred. There's over a hundred types. Either way, the high-risk types uh, are the ones that cause cancer of the throat, the mouth, the anus, the penis, and the cervix. So, the way that they actually, uh, they, they don't give a name to each different type out of the 100 plus types of HPV, they assign a number to each type. And the two deadliest types are 16 and 18. And the two most common types that cause warts are 6 and 11. There's probably about 75% 70, of, of the 100 plus types are low risk and the other 30% are high risk. So, this is a highly, highly contagious disease. Uh, some people uh, call it, I mean, as common as the, the, the flu, or the common cold. That's how easily passed off it can be, skin to skin contact. And you don't even have, to, it doesn't even have to be genital to genital contact, it can be passed off from hand to gen from let's say you, you touch your penis and then use that same hand to touch a vagina immediately following such as like mutual masturbation it can be passed off that easily so condoms people think I'll wear a condom that'll protect me nope if any part of your skin touches the penis or vagina that, when you're having sexual intercourse you will get it, it like I said it's highly highly contagious so, if the man's testicles rub up against the girl's vagina, which they often do during sex, you will get it. Uh, there's two types of HPV. There's high risk and low risk. Uh, they say that there's about 100 types of HPV total. High risk, there's only a few types, whereas low risk, there's, you know, that's the majority of the types. High risk are the cancer-causing types, and high risk don't have any symptoms whatsoever. I mean, most people don't even know that they have it. Whereas low risk, usually you get genital warts, although some low risk types also do not have symptoms. So HPV, what is it? It's, it's a skin disease. It's, it's past or skin to skin contact. Uh, a lot of websites say that the only way to get it is through sexual contact, whereas some websites say that it is possible to pass it off through a toilet seat or through uh, a mutual masturbation. Um, for instance, let's say I have HPV. I touch my penis with my hand, and immediately after using the same hand, I touch my girlfriend's vagina. 
the, some websites say it is actually possible for me to have just passed it off through doing that. Obviously, I don't have all the time in the world to talk here, especially on YouTube. They only give you uh, 10 minutes to say everything you want to say. So the main point that I want people to walk away with is that uh, HPV does not just affect women. It also affects men. And that it does not just affect uh, a woman's vagina. It affects the throat. Uh, I mean, it affects the mouth and the throat, but the throat is the main point I want to stress is because you cannot see down your throat. You don't know if you have a problem down there. Only an, e an ear, nose, and throat doctor can see that with their scope, with the little camera that they have. Uh, because uh, you might think that you're fine, you'll have no symptoms, no pain, nothing. Even a dentist won't be able to see it. But if you start to develop uh, pain back there, it's already too late at that stage because by the time you get pain the HPV cancer has already spread into your nervous system in which it can spread to your brain, your heart, your, any other organ that it wants to. So the point is you need to get checked out every six months to a year by an ENT if you know that you have the human high risk uh, HPV. The low risk HPV also causes papillomas in the mouth and is also very serious. You might have to get your jaw cut off or your tongue cut out to remove the cancer. So you also want to check on that. Um, and the papilloma in your mouth. I keep saying there's no symptoms. And when I say that I'm referring to the high risk HPV. There are symptoms of low risk HPV in your mouth when you get like a, uh, a little white discoloration that lasts longer than two weeks all the cells in your mouth replace themselves every two weeks so if, if you have something in your mouth that, that lasts longer than that you need to see an oral medicine specialist right away the cost of seeing an oral medicine specialist is about hundred and fifty dollars if you go to a college I go to UCLA to do mine you can also go uh, well the ENT costs about three hundred dollars to get a full checkup three eight three hundred dollars every six months or a year not, not, not a big price to save your life. So, again, uh, the benefits of getting checked out speak for themselves. Uh, and obviously, the way that you get cancer in the mouth or the throat is through oral sex, which people think you know is harmless, or maybe they think you only get herpes from oral sex. No, HPV is spread through oral sex. Unfortunately, the CDC is still giving wrong information right now. I just called them before making this video. CDC standing for Center uh, of Disease Control. You call up, you don't even get an expert, you get some person who's just reading information off of their website. And their website has incorrect information on it. Uh, that's why I'm making this video. I've done tons of research, I've seen many doctors. So if you're relying just on the CDC's website, it's out of date, it's not up to date with the current research. So research over yourself, type in on Google HPV, throat cancer, and mouth cancer. You'll see, this is groundbreaking news. There's tons of research about it. Um, the main points being get yourself vaccinated if you're not vaccinated yet. Uh, refrain from oral sex. Uh, nothing protects against it. So, if you, uh, the best you can do is either get vaccinated if you've had little or no sexual contact, or um, you can get regular checkups at your ear, nose, and throat doctor, also called an ENT, and at an oral medicine specialist. To see both of them costs about $500 combined cost. I go every year, and I will be going every year probably the rest of my life, so I hope this video has helped somebody. Please leave a comment and let me know if it has or if you have any more questions. I'd be glad to answer with any of the research that I have done. Uh, and again, I made this video because I'm just sick of people giving wrong information and conflicting information. I've spoken to the experts. I've paid the cost. I am pretty confident that these are the correct answers. So, get yourself checked out by an ENT or get vaccinated.